What's up YouTube? We're just outside of Manchester and working today with a brand that I've long time admired. Represent here in Bolton, England. Today I gotta come in, check out their headquarters. I'm always a fan of seeing a brand and what it's like behind the scenes. So we're gonna jump in, meet the crew, do a workout. Oh. Oh. Woo! He was alive. Let's go in and show you the gym. All right, guys, we are in such a sick private gym here at the Represent Headquarters with the man, the myth, the legend. How are you, my friend? Fucking great, thank you. Dude, what you got on? Thank you, man. I'm liking this. 247. This is a little 247 represent. Yeah. You're lean. I'm pretty lean, yeah. I like to stay stay ready, as we said. I, I, feel, I feel like George, just even looking at his Instagram, it's fashion, it's fitness. He's, no matter where he goes, he's gonna be eating steak, doing a hardcore workouts and then just looking immaculate wherever he's at. So <laughs> no, I appreciate is, that, is that what you want people yeah. to see? I mean, I, yeah, I want it like, yeah. why not? Why is there no one in fashion that's also blending fitness together? Like why could right. that be the whole lifestyle of it? Would you say you are the fittest fashion I would, designer? I would so. like to say I am. And I would like to challenge other designers to <laughs> maybe like high rocks. Are you on, hearing this out there? I think it'd be cool. The gauntlet has been thrown down. <laughs> George Heaton, AKA GQ Arnold right here is throwing it out there for anyone out there that wants a piece. Guys, I had to actually jump into a new shirt because this thing, when is this dropped? This dropped last week. Last week. And it is just, I love the graphic on it. We're gonna get a workout in this gym, but first we're gonna kind of Walk me through what goes on in this place. It's yeah, sure. Not open to the public. Not open to the public now. But this to is, your 80 employees. Yeah, <clears throat> this is a gym for the represent staff, the team. This is where I want to build grit, mental fortitude, toughness, and I just want people to bond in here. The last few years of my life, I was training with some pretty savage guys, and it really helped me with my personal and business life, and I want to bring that into this environment. I'll tell you what, suffering together definitely builds unity. Let's go. Ah! <laughs> So you guys got mainly, it looks like a functional space, but yeah. a little bit of, I mean, enough machines and things like that to get everything you need done. That's, that's what, I, what I wanted, right? They're just the basics, functional, a little bit of bodybuilding, some nice erg works. And who was the gym done by? Blackbox did the whole thing. I see the um, little black box up there with the with yeah. 247 branding. Yeah. Branding everywhere. I love that. Super, super subtle, but still there. The 247 brand has been around now for how long? Two years. Two years. Yeah. But it's growing like crazy. Mm -hmm. It was born with that pan that you've got. This is kind of my favorite band. Anytime I travel with it, I know I can just do whatever I want, and so I do rock it a lot. And then, so you guys have classes going in here twice a day? Yeah, so I've got women's classes at 6.30, men's classes at 7.30. I've got a coach here, Jake, who runs the nutrition, the training, everything that people need. Nutrition, even? Everything. That's I don't want sick. people coming in here getting killed in a workout and then not knowing how to fuel themselves for I mean, it, so. talk about building a culture. Jeez, you guys, you, you, you have fuel, you have pre-workout. You guys got a full shower in there, you can shower. This is, this is actually probably nicer than fitness culture with those locker rooms in there. So I'm getting some inspirations to take back to, to our gym when we eventually build. But the workout for the day, this is what we're gonna be doing. Is this how you typically train? Yeah, pretty much. A little bit of strength and then a Metcon usually. Like to get a run in later in the day, which we're doing all three today. Jeez, so we got strength, muscular endurance, and then just cardio. So walk me through from the gym, what do we have here? So this carries straight through into the studio. This is where we literally shoot all of our products. I wanted to build something that was sufficient enough that could, we could drive cars in here, we can set up studios in here, we can do whatever we want. What are we, see? are we seeing things right now we shouldn't be seeing? Uh, no, not at all. This is fall winter drop suit. Which fall winter. Launches next month. I'm already looking at some of this, looking at my chops. Look at this. Yeah, Tell me about so this. I wanted to just put a little bit of pop color in the season and we did that through purple and greens. It's That's this kind of, of this, this season's color? It is, purple yeah. and greens? Island green, we called it. It's just got a, a nice array of different design put into it in whites and blacks, some cherub detail. And then of course, I'm seeing a lot of black. I love black, Manchester, Melbourne, New York. You see a lot of high fashion cities, especially there in colder weather, where you get so many great black pieces. Whoa! So we've got some overcoats and some blazers going into the mix. Wow, so you guys do, I mean, really, you guys are taking street wear. Yeah. Like, I mean, getting closer and closer to that high-end, like, red carpet type wear. Even. I want to be able to supply product for every occasion for the guy. 
So I want you to be able to come in here, I want you to be able to train in the product, I want you to be able to work in the office in the product, I want you to be able to go out on a night out in the product, mm. even maybe get married in the product. I do have a wedding coming up. <laughs> Everyone's looking good in their represent too, by the way. Way to support the brand. And then where are we here now? First warehouse, where we grew up for the past 10 years, I guess. And I didn't want to leave this place, so that's why we took on the next few units across rather than moving somewhere bigger. So much so that they were like, those businesses that were next to them, we'll incentivize you guys for leaving. I know you guys don't want to leave, but I'm gonna make you an offer you can't refuse. So we just built this out into more office space. We have quite a few teams here, and we've got more meeting rooms off here. Take me through this little mission to build this, the best brand in the yeah. world. Like, that's a lofty goal. It is. And I don't know what it actually means. Best in what area, what is it? Like, can you ever achieve it? I don't know, but it's right. there, so you're constantly progressing. I definitely had little goals on the way, but like, the end result is what I want everyone to focus on, and that's mm -hmm. just to be able to deliver the best product yeah. at the best price point that we gotcha. can offer in the market. Like, I want to be that brand that when the people get it, they're fucking ecstatic about it. Yeah. They love the product. They can't believe they've managed to get it at like, what it is at that cost and the community around it and everything that goes with it. So to me, that's what the best means. I love that. The showroom is such a cool, cool space, I feel like. Selfridges, Harrods, Harvey Nichols, when they come through. They come through here. I want them to come in here and see the environment, train with us, meet all the team, rather than it just being a showroom set That's up. powerful. They get a whole, the full represent experience, which you guys are actually getting today, so. So this is, this you are two seasons away from this? Yeah, this is spring, summer, 24. Currently designing fall, winter 24 as well. Fall, so you guys are already a year out. That is absolutely wild. Where would you say like your biggest inspiration growing up was? California, definitely. Really? Yeah, me and Mike grew up skating. We had long hair, skinny jeans, really? oversized tees. Skate shoes, yeah. So that's kind of the baseline for our work. This is like your own fantasy factory, like Rob Deerdick, yeah, yeah, yeah. like. And that's what I was watching. Right really? Now. Yeah, of course. This is this is kind of that vibe of like, hey, we're gonna make cool, cool stuff. We're gonna work hard and we're gonna play hard. I grew up loving that show, thinking, man, Rob Deerdick is just out here living his best life, doing whatever he wants. Yeah, he was showing us kids that it's possible, right? I love the lettering. There just wraps around that with the matching slides. We can't show you everything here, but you guys got a glimpse firsthand. Oh, did it represent? Yeah, it represent? I thought so. How sick are those? That's that's an R, there's the E, and there's the P. Yeah, then when you see it, you like, can't not see it again. It's a high-end skater shoe, I would say, yeah, right? Exactly. Do you skateboard? I know what skateboard. You do now. <laughs> <laughs> you can do anything. Come in, 5.30, train, shower, eat. I'll get to my desk for like half seven. Okay. Um, I'll get a bit of work done on my own before most people get into the office. Okay. Starts at nine, from nine till 12, it's just chaos. I'll eat my lunch at 12, go for a little walk. I always go for a walk after I've eaten. Really? Yeah. Help, no. help digestion? Yeah, I feel like I get tired if I don't. Like I I'll agree. crash at 1 p.m. if I don't go for a little walk. If you work at a desk, if you work in finance, try walking after you eat, because honestly, I'm one of those people that love a nap around 2 p.m., so that's actually a good tip for me. I would love to nap, but there's not enough time. Yeah, and then like from 1 till 5, 6 p.m., I'm usually with the team designing all, we're deciding what we're doing in the future. That'll include fittings, so like I'm the fit model for the brand. Designer and fit, like there's not yeah. a lot of brands that can do that. This is your brother's office? This is Mike's design studio. Proper like just away from the crowd, he likes to just work in solitude for hours on end. What is this shirt over here? So Mike wanted to just pop all of our best-selling graphics over the past couple of years into one design. And what we're doing with it actually is not, we're not putting it online. Oh really? Every day of September, because the brand started in September, we're renaming it to September, and we're gonna put one out every single day where a customer can win it. Win that exact shirt? Yeah, so there'll be 30 of them going. That out. is super cool. Obviously people see the amazing physique, you built the amazing brand, you built it, like, I want that life. They don't probably realize that this started in 2011, was just you and your brother creating things from scratch. If there was three things that you, if you were gonna start this all over again, things that you'd go back and tell yourself. Yeah, um, I think number one would be finding your brand's DNA. Yeah. I think like having an aesthetic that is clearly yours. Your purpose. Exactly. It'll always work for you. Like if you can stick to the guidelines of your fundamentals, like how you think things should look, how you think things should fit, how your graphics should be, mm. I feel like that's how you build brand. Number two, I'd say personal brand. I think personal brand is such a big thing now. Mm. I think people are over just following an Instagram page that sells products. Yeah. Everyone wants to know who's behind the brand. And if that probably leads to number three is like living the brand, not having to put the effort and energy into doing it because you're doing it 
right. purposefully. You're doing it yourself. You would be doing what you're doing anyways with the working out. Now yeah. you're just bringing people on this journey with yeah. you. Like you've been fortunate enough, to obviously, to grow the company, but you are actually the people that work here and everything else. They've become part of your vision, and in turn, probably become better for it. I would exactly. say. Yeah. And you're showcasing that whole journey on your YouTube as well. Mm -hmm. Where can the people find that? Um, it's represent Clo on YouTube, same as Instagram, Twitter, everything like that. So maybe you guys are out there wanting to start a fashion brand or just starting a business, talking about building a culture. You do a lot of business stuff on there, but also lifestyle stuff. Yeah. I think it'd be a great place just for inspiration for you guys out there. Nobody's doing better than these guys right now. So I appreciate you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so Fantastic. much. All right, we've toured the facility. We gotta go down there now. I'm somewhat nervous to get shown up here because I know how fit these guys are, but we're gonna do it anyways. Let's go. 96. What is 96? That's like 100 and 200? Don't say 100. Sorry, 250. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get changed though. I gotta get into some 247 stuff. Yo, I feel like, I honestly, I feel like these would be a perfect leg day or even running, but right now, since it is mostly upper body, I'm gonna throw on some shorts, but this, this is a great look. It's great little cap sleeves to make the delts look big. I'm gonna build up to a five rep max bench press, uh, five rep max weighted pull-ups. Yep. Uh, and then we've got a nice conditioning workout, including the two. 20 on the assault. On the we, might, we might see Mr. Pukey today here. <laughs> okay, here we no. go. to come into the gym here with a brand that I've been following for a long time. And to be honest, George, I've said this a couple times now. I, I'm going out on a limb. Fittest fashion designer in the world completely outpaced me in the workout today. Came close on the bench press. And remember, he's quite a bit lighter than me. We did a great run uh, up to a hill that was basically behind his his house that he grew up in. You know the, the only bone I ever broke was my wrist going down here on a, a sledge when I was about five. Um, definitely, you could tell that he was a runner as well. So just a full around major athlete that has built brands based upon his passions. Really cool to see the people that work here, it's about 80 employees, they live it. Everyone here is getting fitter as a culture and I think that that's the biggest thing is when you as a leader lead from example, lead from the front, show how fit you are, that then kind of sets the tone for everyone in the building. I mean, we can talk about fashion all you want, but your body is the ultimate like staple piece that when you show up somewhere, it speaks volumes about you. You can put on whatever you want over top of it, but having a, a physique that's strong, powerful, that's a, you know, a, a calling card.